So, what is full digital workflow? Uh, it's, as you can see, international standard for digital dentistry and it's made of multitude of equipment, choices and workflows all put together to make predictable uh, dentistry. So if you are a beginner and you start with digital dentistry and you are afraid to switch from analog to digital, I can help you with some tips and tricks. For example, as you can see all over around me, I have my equipments that are specially made for chair-side dentistry. So today we are going to talk about uh, clinical aspects, so from the clinical point of view, not from the laboratory point of view, what is the equipment that we really need to have in our dental office. For example, the first steps should be to have an intraoral scanner, as you can see this one that we have here. Yeah. And this is the Medit i500, this is my personal choice, uh, it's the one of the best scanners out there on the planet right now and I'm using it since it appeared on the market and I have to say that I tested absolutely from every aspect this uh, internal scanner no matter if it's non prep veneers, prepless veneers, normal veneers, crowns, bridges and of course uh, all of 406 crew retained uh, it has amazing features inside and with every update it get, it's getting better what you have to know about this uh, medit scanner is that um, it does not cost anything extra so you pay for it once and the updates you will get for free you don't have any annual licenses and also to use it is just a kids play i mean everyone can use this uh, intro scanner then step two would be to have a face scanner because let's say we as a lab, we don't work with dentists that don't have a face scanner from AFT and this is the one we use and this is the one highly recommended because it's not just a face scanner, it's much more than that. This one will allow us to use the images we get, the 3D uh, patient face as a digital Facebook so we can measure and uh, calculate the Bennett angles for the patient, we can position maxilla exactly in the position of the patient, uh, real patient uh, position and what is extremely important to have uh, an exocad software, a good CAD software as a technician. So you as a dentist all you have to do is just to scan interval files, uh, face scan files, send to the laboratory and he will integrate them and create a virtual patient. We are going to have a 3D head with a 3D impression into uh, our computer and then we can design predictable facially guided the future smile. Basically, once we have the new design, uh, the next step would be to have in the office, uh, you see in the corner on the, uh, my right side, it's the chair side printer. Yeah? As a chair side printer, what do I understand? I understand a very small printer that works really fast and can print really, very good quality uh, veneers for mock-up. For example, when we have a patient and we want to show him how his uh, planning should look like or how his future smile will look, we are going to print uh, a new set of veneers on uh, non prep teeth. So we are going to scan the patient, design everything and print some uh, individual veneers and we are going to place them in the mouth of the patient or we can print them all in one piece. Uh, then we can make some nice photos and show to the patient how he can look before even we start to do the preps and everything. Now let's say the patient really loves the job we did and he's really happy with the design and with the shapes and colors and everything after the printing and after the pictures. Uh, the next step would be to do the preps. Of course, you can do the preps because this is what the dentists do. And after that, take another internal impression, send to the lab, and the lab already did his job doing the design for the first time. So what he will have to do now is to adapt the design that we did for the mock-up to the final design yeah, on the prep teeth. And then he can make uh, and send the STL files, the final ones, and you can mill them with a program mill one. This is my chair side option when it comes to milling in the dental office. So basically you can have your uh, veneers. Yeah, so I will just come a little bit closer. Yeah, you can mill your own veneers in the office and uh, just glaze them and then cement them with your patient's mouth. So basically chair side dentistry is at this moment um, perfect, it doesn't have any missing links anymore. Uh, you know, this is the time what every dentist has been waiting for and I really recommend for you to start working digital. Yeah, analog 
its past, analog its history, and I really believe in, uh, in the present that uh, digital dentistry is extremely powerful, extremely predictable, and I really recommend to you to use it every day.